New Titleist TSR fairways here at the end of 2022. Mm -hmm. Danny and I are very excited to talk to you about them yeah. today and tell you everything you need to know. And then we're gonna bring in Thomas to do some testing and see how explosive these guys really are. So let's get to it, huh? Let's do it. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Danny Farrell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing at Minnetonka with new Ferry Woods here at the end of 2022. Titleist TSR, look how clean yes. those things are. Uh, we've got three models to go through today, mm -hmm. Danny, but I think really when it comes to new woods from Titleist, we're always just super excited about it. Absolutely, I mean, we just did a video with the driver. Yep. So if you haven't checked that already, guys, go check out the driver first before we dabble into the fairways. But this has me just as excited mm -hmm. as the driver. Yeah. Driver performance was unreal. Let's talk about what changed from TSI yeah. to TSR. For sure, for sure. So with the Titleist TSR fairways, the first thing we gotta talk about is the center of gravity. Yes. And I think with the TSR2 in particular, bringing that thing lower, Low. right? So yeah. the center of gravity, lower, but also centered in the face. Lowest so, ever. Yes, lowest yeah. ever for a Titleist fairy wood. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna give you easy high launch and also yes. provide that that straight ball flight. Yeah. Uh, and then you talk about the TSR3, mm -hmm. right? So this mm -hmm. is the three here. Yep. Um, they had the adjustability on there in the past. They did. Um, but yep. they've widened it a little bit. So Love you can that. move that center of gravity more in the heel okay. or more in the toe. Okay. Uh, and they've also had that same center of gravity optimization in the, uh, with the TSR3. St still players looking for a little bit more launch even in this yeah. model. Right. So they bring that center of gravity down just a little bit more to yep. increase that launch. And then I think the really unique model mm. this year, mm -hmm. TSR2 Plus. Ooh. This is new to the Titleist sequence. You know, um, we were talking before jumping on film mm -hmm. here, saying you know, what other heads are kind of competitive in our mindset to this one. From the Ping family, the stretch yeah. comes out. That was a, a low launch, low lofted fairway wood as well. Um, and what was the other one? We had a Cobra the Big Tour. They've had a yes. big tour sequence in the last several generations. That was there, a so. low spin bomber yeah, as yeah, well. This is kind of like, a, you know, it's got a big footprint there. It is. Down it, but it's lower lofted and mm -hmm. it's kind of almost a fairy finding club, if you will, right. for players off the tee that maybe already have a lower lofted driver in their bag. They yeah. can go to this guy. It's at 13 degrees aloft mm -hmm. uh, and it is really inspired for tour type performance, right. but it does have some forgiveness in there with mm -hmm. that bigger footprint. So Absolutely. we'll go through all that today, but Dan, Danny, I think you know there's a lot to be excited about here with these clubs. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we brought up some small cosmetic things. One big thing again, not only did they change the scoring lines in the driver family, yep. but they delivered here in the fairways as well. So we have the TSI2 in hand right mm -hmm. now, and this is the this is new two. TSR2. Guys, check this out. So you'll see white scoring lines across the whole face on the TSR mm -hmm. family now. From the TSI, You'll see it was kind of illuminated the middle portion, but now they elongated those um, those just to cover the whole face. There. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thanks for saving me on that <laughs> one. So, so, but guys, t I want to bounce back to the kind of the unicorn, the TSR two plus mm -hmm. thirteen degrees. Think about it. With lower loft, I'm going to need a bigger footprint to help yeah. get that thing airborne, right. right? So this is at thirteen degrees. It's a little stronger, but remember we have the SureFit housel behind us as well. Yeah. So we can drop that down at 12 and a quarter if we want. Yeah. We can bump it up to 14.5 for you know adjustability ball flight wise as well. Sure. Now they do have a set weight right behind the face as well. So moving more weight closer to the face, as always, it's gonna help players show less loft, bring down the launch and yeah. spin rates it, with that. It truly so. is a T bias club essentially is yeah. the way that they're describing it. Yeah. So you've got your T bias kind of Rocket Fairway Finder. You've yep. got two excellent models in the TSR3 and TSR2, yes. depending on the type of player you are. Quickly, before we get into the testing, we'll bring Thomas in, of course, and yes. do that. Mm -hmm. um, but we got to cover the loss, of Let's course. Let's do it. So yep. the loss on the TSR2, a lot of options. We mm -hmm. got 15, 16 okay. and a half, okay. 18, and then you got a 21 that's three, only right handed. Four, three, so. four, five woods, and seven wood only right handed, mm -hmm. 21 yep. degree. The okay. TSR three now, mm -hmm. you've got uh, 13 and a half, so okay. you can even go a little bit lower there, okay. but then also 15, 16 and a half, and 18. Okay. Uh, the left-handed options are 15 and 16 and a half. So three wood, four wood for lefties, yeah. everything else, kind of the, was it 13, five, uh, 15, 16, 15, 16 five, and a half. 18, yep. 
all in the right-handed option. Yep. So. And then, uh, of course, the TSR 2 Plus, as we mentioned, 13 degrees only. Yep. Uh, so that's, again, designed to be that T-bias club that, yeah. you know, if you're, again, someone like me who plays a lower lofted driver and mm -hmm. probably needs some sort of fairway finder, yep. Beneath that, where you're not taking driver on that skinny hole, right. that's the club that, that is. That's exactly what that's going to do for you. So yeah. I yeah. think, without further ado, is it time for it's time for time Mr. for Tamble. Tamble. All right, let's bring it him is. in here, and uh, we'll get some shots on TrackMan, and we'll see what the results are. Let's do it. So, Mr. Thomas Campbell, you have uh, the TSR2 uh, in your hand, also the TSI2. Yep. So. Do want to give you the opportunity to kind of share the differences in appearance, uh, the aesthetics of them. So talk to me about it. Do you see shape? Do you see the, I mean, what, what's different? Well, I'm, I'm first just looking at all the features. Yeah. Everything's been moved around different places. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess first start with look at the face. Yeah. You got these paint fill of white paint fill lines mm -hmm. yep. with the TSR while mm -hmm. black paint fill lines with a little bit of white paint fill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that looks differently and you can see that just kind of looking down at barely at a dress. Sure. Okay. Um, looking on the bottom here now, um, looking at the, uh, I guess the weight ports. Yeah. Notice the weight with the TSI 2 is all the way back. They got the weight all yeah. the way kind of more forward, or more centralized. Mm -hmm. But they do have something here. It looks like they've still got some weight pushed back yeah, here okay. with the TSR 2. Or a stationary weight there? Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. And then I'm looking at the, the hosel, where you, where you would put the, the golf shaft and connect here. Um, it's triangular with the TSI 2. Yeah. It's circular with the TSR2. Yeah, so Tyler's cleaned that up a little bit. They, um, you know, they, they basically almost made it smaller, that, that area where you would kind of, you know, screw in or screw out the, the shaft, if you will, and, and use the Sherfit hosel. So call that open hosel construction, a way to kind of take some weight out of there and, and redistribute it throughout the head to kind of optimize things. Yeah. Uh, and then you also mentioned that, that weight on the back. Interesting that you said that because uh, I think a lot of times you think farther back is like, most MOI, mm -hmm. but actually, if you the, the way the club's constructed, the way that weight is, it's actually lower where it is now mm -hmm. versus in the back. So, so it might be it's a little farther back. up, but yeah. it's lower. Lowest so, CG that's yeah. ever been in a title yeah. fairway wood. Yep. So Lowest they positioned shaft. it where it's actually a little bit lower. It might be a little forward than yeah. from last year, but it's a little lower. So that's going to yep. give a little bit more launch. So, um, but mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's interesting that you noted those things. So. Uh, getting into the testing now, I know uh, this is going to be this will be fun because these Titleist fairways have been explosive. Right. The Titleist Speed Project has been a real speed project. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, that speed has been improved, been been more consistent, and they've really uh, updated their performance on these woods. So yes. excited for yes. this for sure. Yeah. So, all right, well, let's see what the first one leads out to be, Thomas. We know we might see a little bit of movement because we know his attack angle is a little bit up yeah. at it, which makes fairway woods difficult for those players. Yeah. Yeah. So, but being a talented player that he is, oh, he's yeah. still gonna deliver. Oh, yeah. but, no, no doubt. Yeah, fairway yeah. woods aren't my favorite club to hit. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. Unless they're off the tee, they're perched up. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. It's gonna be a good test. All right, let's see how this sounds, feels, and performs. Just a little low on the face. Okay. okay. Yep. Again, we're using the one of their stock offerings, the Tensai 1K Black mm -hmm. series. So, kind of profile very similar to the Tensai uh, Raw White that yeah. they used last year in the TSI family. Speaking of curve, you were you were right. Definitely gave that one a little bit little bit curve. Yep. That one was a bit better. It sounded better too. Yeah. Yep. Very that's good. more what I was thinking. Driver numbers, 11 and 27. Yeah, that's that's a pretty darn good shot right there. All right, mm -hmm. remember mm -hmm. that swing. <laughs> <laughs> we were still up 1.6. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm trying to hit down on this pretty good right now. <laughs> but height-wise, still at 101 feet, though. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really, really good. Great sound to that. Really good. Look at that. Wow. Look at that smash factor creeping up there, huh? Well, oh, remember, so fairway uh, woods are not regulated yeah. like drivers are. I know. So That's you will right. get those 151, 52, or even 53 that we've seen in the bays, but usually 53 comes from a little bit slower club head speed. Yeah. But they aren't regulated, so they're going to be hot. I'm okay. glad you brought that up because we do. That's one of the comments we do get a lot on our channels is mm -hmm. three would get that smash factor of 15. Yeah. Yep. 
It's, they're not regular. Yeah. Exactly. Well, exactly. Especially the way Thomas Swing compresses the ball extremely efficiently. <laughs> With an attack angle neutral for a three wood, you're hey, going to get That was down. He was down yeah. point two. There you go. That's the kind of three wood shot that I want to hit. Yeah. 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 A little bit more spin, you're in the mid 3000s, kind yeah. of what you're looking for. You can have yeah. a little bit of stopping power if you need it there. Yeah, yeah, that was fantastic. So good on the sound. It's just a lot more muted mm -hmm. than I think the so TSI too. from last year. And we heard that one. in the driver too, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit quieter sound. So it's good to see that carry through the, the fairway yeah. woods, at least the TSR 2 to start with. Really good. That one was a better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Wow. All right. So you got five shots. Um, we can bring those up. I know the first one Thomas wasn't super pleased with, but mm -hmm. we got four really good ones after that, um, where that spin was pretty consistently kind of in the you know the, the three thousands there. You had the yeah. twenty seven ninety nine there. Everything else was about low three low to mid three thousands, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I find it interesting. Like the spinner, uh, sorry, the, the carry distance was like plus or minus like. Four Nothing yards. Yeah. I mean, you were about 260 shots. on every shot there, right? Yeah. Two, six, 258 to 265. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. For someone that doesn't hit a fairway very good, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 I'd, I'd love to see how consistent the spin is again. You know, it's the biggest thing when it comes to making sure they're going to go the right number out on the golf mm -hmm. course from a fitting perspective. If I see that a player's winning in club speed consistency, ball speed, smash, that I know I've already carried it through the rest. Right. It's going to be right. pretty darn good. So it was great to see that as well. Um, overall height to the golf ball, definitely want to look at that coming off the ground for us. 107 feet. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's and right in that window. Yep. So spin wise, roughly in the twos for the driver, <laughs> roughly in the threes for you know a fairway wood as yeah. well. So this tells me loft wise, we're in a pretty good spot. Mm -hmm. But remember, we still have the sure fit hosel where we can adjust for ball flight right. tendencies yeah. as well. So good start from the TSR. Mm -hmm. Very easy to launch, 10 yep. degrees more often there. Let's see if that doesn't change when we start yeah. adding center of gravity more forward. Right, in the club right. End. So the TSR 3 going to bring things a little bit lower, you think. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that changes on the numbers. Maybe a little less spin, maybe a little bit lower <laughs> in terms of height. but. Yeah. Uh, should still see some good performance here. Yeah, I think we're going to lose carry and it's going to run out the back door a little bit longer. Yeah, could be. Mm -hmm. All right, TSR 3 time mm -hmm. now, Thomas. So talk to me about that one. You've got the TSI 3 in your hand and the TSR 3. So do you see any differences visually? Well, the most noticeable thing looking down at is, you know, we're talking about tuning with, with the 3 line. Yeah. So I'm, I'm noticing here you've got additional heel and toe tuning, mm -hmm. yeah. tuning plate where you can modify your center of gravity a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Definitely noticing that. So instead of having three, we got five. Yeah, on, awesome. On the bottom. Awesome. And remember kind of that last video we shot with the driver where we talked about two different ways to use kind of that weight system in there. Yeah. Where some players will say, hey, I want that weight out on the toe if I draw the ball um, just for flight characteristics. That's one way. The other way is to use that weight and play towards your miss. Yep. Your miss meaning where do you strike it more often? Is it heel side? Is it toe side? Move that weight there. If I put more mass there, it's going to main, maintain ball speed yep. and spin and flight characteristics much better. Yep. So two different ways to use that sure fit, but that does match the characteristics of the driver now. Because yep. it was three, po three positions last year, now it's five. Mm -hmm. So even more tuning adjustments. Right. I love it already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also noticing paint fill, just like the, mm -hmm. the sure. TSR2 white paint fill versus the TSI. They mm -hmm. used to have the black paint fill with the yeah. white on, on the edges. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's quite interesting. I'm looking at the, the arc on the, on the bottom. I think that was yeah. a little bit more for acoustics, right? Right, yeah, exactly. The previous model channel there. Well, yeah. it's not there on either TSR2 right. or 3. Yeah. That's interesting because I have brought up sound. It sounds a little bit quieter this year, not only driver, but first date with the TSR2 yeah. sounded quieter. Maybe that's where that comes from. But more mass there, that's probably where that deep CG comes from yeah. too. Adding mm -hmm. more mass right behind the face there, drawing it all the way back. So it's going to be more stable, more sure. resistant to twist as well, mm -hmm. which will help a lot of players. That's yeah, fantastic. And, and then looking down at a dress, it, this just looks a little more s rounder, smaller, circular. Okay. It's like it's just fine-tuned just a little bit a little yep. bit more. Yep. I'm sure the CCs are probably pretty similar, but yep. it just seems like weights being moved around. Maybe it's to do with the, 
moving the weight around mm -hmm. with the hosel as we talked right. about with the TSR2. But yeah, it's a good looking club. Sure. I'm interested to test it. All right, let's hit some shots then. Okay, so again, loft wise, guys, right handed options 13, 5, 15, uh, 16, 5, which is your four wood and 18 degree five wood, that's right-handed options. Left-handed options in the TSR-3, 15 and 16 five. So three wood and four wood options with this head. That was quieter. Mm -hmm. Big time, that was quieter. Yeah. Than the, t than the two. I noticed that too, yeah. It's, it's, and again, you can only hear, you can only find so many differences in the bay, but right. Right. I think you can definitely see that, you hear the difference for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't sound super loud off the face. No. Like, even in the, like I say, in, in the bay, it just doesn't seem, I've, there's definitely louder clubs out there. Yeah. 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 A little tall, you see if the spin stays down. You bet. Yeah. Sure did, sure did. Still 100 feet in the air. So tallie and open face, but yeah. Still 149. Still carrying about 260-ish. Mm -hmm. And just shy of 1,000. I mean, or I said thousand. I did three thousand. <laughs> thousand, that'd be quite low. So, so it's a little lower than the two, yeah. which we would expect, yep. right? Hit it good. It's just wide open. Okay. <sighs> okay. Interesting though. I mean, you you left the face open there, and you knew it right away. The spin is still barely over 3,000. Right. Mm -hmm. It's definitely spinning a little lower. And yeah, that was, what, three and a half degrees open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No good for me. But carry distance, kind of, once again, round about that 260 mark. Yeah. 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 That was hit well. Yep. There's the low spinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there it is. Driver numbers. There's your delete. Oh, my God. So we've got our, our sample here of kind of the four, best four shots is actually what we have up there um, yep. from each club. Club speed is the exact same, so that's kudos to you. Uh, interesting here as we go through, we see the ball speed is pretty similar, a little bit more efficient actually with TSR2, mm -hmm. um, but we also did see that spin difference that we kind of expected. Wow. Um, yeah. 400-ish, yeah, 4 to 450 um, RPM difference on average between the two clubs. And so that's going to, I mean, come down to the player that is needing a new three. Well, what, what do you need? More spin, less spin? You got the two options here for sure. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, you'll, you'll see the launch come up, which is the opposite of what we kind of forecasted. But reason for that is the face angle was a little yep. bit more open with this combination compared to the, uh, the TSR2. Yeah, two. right, right. You know, path was the exact same, but that face open 1.1 degrees different. And the attack angle a little more up instead of more neutral. Um, of course, that's going to change how much loft we show an impact. So it's going to launch up, but spin lower yeah. with that CG being that much forward. Yeah. And that landing angle is going to come in a little bit shallower too. Yeah. So it's already starting to be more of a, a T club. Yeah. For, for at least Thomas's spin profile or yeah. player profile. Yeah. Right. right. But if, right. if we're a player that, you know, that spin rate's touching 4,000, hey, throw something more forward CG like in that. the center lo mm -hmm. same loft. And watch it change. Right. right. right? If, Get if, more out. If you are a player that, you know, we might even take a divot with three wood, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and if you hit it pretty solid, that's where the TSR three could be fantastic. Absolutely. For you. Uh, yeah. But I mean, what did you think, Thomas, about your? You, you've hit both now. You've got to feel them as well. So what do you? What are your kind of thoughts on on the data or the shots? Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of unlike unlike the drivers. This is flip flopped a little bit for me. So mm -hmm. the the TSR two, I had a hard time with the driver. Mm -hmm. TSR two fairway wood, I was hitting a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. So just because you fit into a a two or a three doesn't mean you have to stick with the same right, line all the way through. That's a great point. That's a good point. So I mean, that's point. a big, very important piece to yes. you know, you talk about that. there. You look at the tour staffers, and they're mm -hmm. all mixed. I mean, you got the, the, you know, the two driver, the three fairway. I mean, it's it's all mixed up. So yeah, and that's it. Kind of goes along the same line as you know we talk about wedge bounce all the time and having different bounces in the bag. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. If you're a Titleist loyalist, for example, yeah. doesn't mean you get you pick one TSI three or TSR three, and you mm -hmm. get the three on the fairway and the hybrid. Yeah. Maybe mix that up because you, you, you yeah. swing those clubs differently a Absolutely. little bit. Absolutely. And same thing with the shaft, too. A lot of fitters will just match the same shaft that they find in a driver for a player. That might not be the right. best. I get a lot of kind of goofy looks when I'm fitting driver and we work down to the fairway wood and I plug in a different shaft. Yeah. Players are like, 
why are you doing that? Yeah. Well, because X, Y, and Z, I got to get you in a better window than what the driver right. shaft is going to do. Because we swing up at the driver more often and down at the fairway woods. Mm -hmm. So we might need different recipes. So that's a go. good, great point yeah. from you. Great yeah, point. I guess the biggest takeaway of this club is it will spin lower than the two. Yeah, yeah. that's the biggest takeaway. My face was one one point one degrees more open, it yet it still spun four hundred <laughs> right. RPMs yeah. less. So yeah. that's the biggest takeaway. Yeah. Lower spinning with with the R three, mm -hmm. more spin with the R two. Yep. Yes. Yep. And then yep. we can eventually. Well, maybe we'll do a video on the adjustability piece of that that club, and uh, maybe play with that heel and that toe setting. But and head weights as well. We can yep. really dive for in sure. with that. So it'd be good to fit them for um, a fairway wood. But we should do though is we can now kind of do this quote unquote T biased fairway wood, the TSR two plus new kind of in you know uh, entry into the fairway wood yes. series with titles here. So the TSR two plus Thomas, do we have a like a small T to hit? I can avoid lower this. Okay, we'll use that. I, I hit up on it already as it is. There so. <laughs> so there we go. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of put this on a small tee because this club I primarily will be used off the tee. So we'll go with that and uh, we'll see what kind of numbers we get here. It's going to give sure. me a little more confidence too. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> For players that are inside a little up, this is a dream to be teed up. Yep. So now Thomas, you kind of, you have a, a club like this in your bag that you kind of use off the tee sometimes, but um, you're thinking a club like this, there's other options in the market that are similar, right? They're kind of a bigger footprint, um, lower lofted, but kind of, you, you'd think they're, they're best used off the tee. So um, for you and, and what that club looks like, is there numbers we should expect or maybe kind of what are you looking for out of that club? Yeah, I mean, I, I have played around with this a little bit. Mm -hmm. I had a Maverick 13 and a half degree fairy wood oh, at one three point, plus. Uh, yeah. the three plus. Uh, I almost put, I think you talked about the Cobra Big Tour, yeah. mm -hmm. when, that, when that was in there, I almost put that one in the bag. I really like the larger head and yeah. the less loft. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, usually for me though, it's, it's driver or nothing off the yeah. team. <laughs> right. yeah. So, I mean, it's go giving a little more gapping perspective. Now, mm -hmm. yeah. if you're a player that struggles with your driver, this is almost like a good replacement. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, because yeah. Yeah, it's gonna, it's not quite, you know, it's, it's, this is at 13 degrees of loft. Mm -hmm. Uh, but as we as we mentioned before too, that you can bring it down a little bit and almost play it like a 11, 11 and a half. You can really dial it down. Oh yeah, you 12 and a quarter, right? 12 and a quarter, quarter is what you can yeah, do. Yeah. So you can yeah. lower it down, and uh, almost have that kind of fairway chaser there. Yeah. So I'm um, curious yeah. here, what, what what we see? Yeah. How are, we, how are we gonna get 300? <laughs> how are we gonna get 300, he asks, and then immediately it's hits one 305. Pretty straight too. Yeah, talk about a straight ball flight there. Those are numbers that we saw with the TSR4 driver, mm -hmm. where yeah. spin got it's under crazy, two. crazy, that spin, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. even with more loft. Mm -hmm. that, is, that just shows how much weight is forward yeah. on that club head. How much, it's a ton. Yeah, it feels so much more powerful yeah, that, off the uh, face. That was nuked as well. Look at that. He's carried both of them 276. <laughs> I, uh, I, I do like what I'm seeing on that dispersion up there, too. We've seen a lot of tight circles. Probably one, one of the tightest uh, sessions we've had with yeah, Mr. Campbell with, with today. The, with Tyler's TSR? <laughs> yes, yes. Full speed's been over 160 the yeah. last three swings. There's, yeah. man. This guy was man. doubting if he could get to 300. <laughs> man. Yep. Wow. 308. I can wow. see the, the, the confidence increasing with Thomas as he swings. He's getting, he's ripping through a little bit faster every time. Um, well, the ball's quiet. on a tee. <laughs> I think at an attack angle. I, I think know. too. I've seen the possibility here of. <laughs> I've seen the possibility too of a fast swinging player if they have this in the bag. Obviously, I think we've said multiple times that using off the tee is going to be the best use, but there is the possibility off the turf. I think if someone comes in steep to hit that kind of like low right like kind of almost spinny riser i know that a guy could, yeah i know could, a guy that could that <laughs> could turn it that could turn into something mm -hmm. uh pretty productive mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. so this is starting to intrigue you if it was matt black yeah, yeah maybe <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh yeah. boy oh a little extra ball speed there a little sauce. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little, little openness again. That was, I think, my highest carry, 281. Yeah. Wow. But every shot was over 300. Not, yeah, a, not so a bad T ball. <laughs> there's our uh, quick numbers. Every single carry was over 276. 
But look at the spin control though, 215. Yep. That's one thing I am blown away by with the whole TSR family. Driver, mm -hmm. fairway woods, the consistency on spin rates. Right. Yes, it's, it shows more to Thomas Campbell, you know, the golf swing, how repeatable that is. But for titles to perform the same way every single mm -hmm. time, yeah. That's what I'm looking for out of a golf club for a lot of players right. coming up. So right. that's so, fantastic to see. So we saw the, the decrease in spin. Obviously, mm -hmm. that was expected with lower loft, and then kind of the way you know you're swinging up on the on the tee a little bit. Yeah. So that spin's going to drop in as it, you know, naturally, right? Yeah. Uh, but what we didn't expect, I didn't expect, was that dispersion to actually get tighter. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it shows a you're a little more comfortable hitting a, off a tee. Yep. Um, but yep. also. That thing is still mighty straight. Uh, I think there's a little bit of stability with that extra bigger club head mm -hmm. that you know tightens things up a little bit despite yeah. that lower spin. Well, that, that's great for a lot of players. You know, think about it. 90, or I shouldn't say 90, but a lot of players have that struggle with the miss to the right. Mm -hmm. What happens when we miss right? We add more loft and impact. We spin the ball a little bit more. But now with a way forward center of gravity, that club head, that can drop that and even the, let's talk about this shot in particular, one that drifted just a fraction to the right for us. But look at the spin rate. Yeah, stayed low. Yes, it was the highest out of the bunch because it works the most right, but still lower than where we were with the TSR3. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, we're swinging up instead of more down. Yes, center gravity changes, but um, overall, I love to see spin low on a fairway wood, knowing That's, players yeah. that are gonna come in interested for this right, club right mm -hmm. that's that that t bias club you're going to yep. use it off the t a lot more than off the turf yep. these are the numbers I, I would imagine thomas that you would expect if you're going to put a club like that in your bag that's exactly what you're looking for right exactly and yeah. you could also like you mentioned play it off the turf as well yeah i probably wouldn't be the best candidate if i'm going to hit up kind of five <laughs> yeah, degrees down because i'm going to have a hard time i'm going to have to move that ball position further back in my stance and try and squeeze it a little bit yeah. more right yeah. But if you have a very neutral attack angle and you're looking for a little more distance out of your fairy wood, mm -hmm. it's, it's yeah. going to go further. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly some good performers here, right? Absolutely. We've gotten three very different profiles, I think. Yeah. The TSR2 is going to be the most forgiving, probably a little bit higher launching. TSR3, a little bit lower launching. Yeah. Um, you have that adjustability there as well. Yeah. And then, of course, the TSR2 Plus can really launch something like a rocket off the tee. It mm -hmm. could be kind of a fairway finder for golfers. So yeah. three just excellent options here, I think, from Titleist. Yes. Okay, so last piece of the swing report for us, player profile, who's it gonna be for? So I'm gonna talk about the TSR2, players that are seeking a little bit higher launch, a little bit more forgiveness across the whole face, right? They changed where the center of gravity is in the club head. You'll see the TSI was a little bit further back. Now it's more forward as well. So it can be a little bit lower spinning option, but it's the deepest CG location ever put in a title as fairway wood. I'll say that again the deepest, lowest center of gravity ever put in a title as fairway wood. What's that gonna do? Get the ball airborne, raise the forgiveness level for players. So lofts are gonna be 15, so three wood, 16, five, four wood, 18, five wood, and then a 21 degree option as well, but right-handed only on the seven wood, the 21 degree. All the other lofts are available left-handed as well in there. So Thomas, your turn to talk about the TSR3 as well as the uh, TSR2 um, Plus. Yeah, so TSR2, you talked about getting the ball airborne. Yeah. The yep. TSR3 is probably gonna fly in a little flatter trajectory yeah. uh, for a golfer that maybe is trying to lower a little bit with a little lower spin. Okay. So as we were okay. hitting here, I was getting about 400 RPMs less spin yeah. with the three. With the I would same anticipate yep. The same loft. So I would yep. anticipate a little less spin, yep. but then, uh, Precision tuning is what it comes Big down time. to. Now yeah. we have five different spots where we can adjust. Mm -hmm. So we like can adjust driver. heel one, heel two, mm -hmm. toe one, toe two, and a yes. neutral position. Yes. So if you're looking for a little extra help on top of the shore fit hosel, mm -hmm. then you, TSR3 is a good option for that particular player. So that's almost 21 options of adjustability. It's, it's 16 in the hosel, five different locations for center of gravity. It's right. going to be fun fitness yeah. this year. It's fun to fit that. <laughs> very, yep. very good. Yep. Last one on the docket, the TSR2 Plus. Yes, yeah, so this is 
So, Manoa testing, I was doing off the tee. Mm -hmm. However, I still believe you could hit it off the ground. It's, it's kind oh. of that more that tour inspired, little larger head, yep. but less loft, mm -hmm. where you can hit it off the tee and off the, tur off the turf. You're yeah. coming in pretty neutral with your attack angle. Mm -hmm. Let's just face it, it's going to spin less and it's going to go a lot further. Absolutely. Um, this, when we were testing, we were testing at 13 degrees. Mm -hmm. You can go down to 12 and a quarter. Yep. Or you're going to move it up a little bit if you, if you need to, if it's Correct. going too far. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> that could be a problem. Well, yeah. <laughs> gapping is important with your, with your clubs for right. sure. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to be 190 cc's. Mm -hmm. So it's a little larger profile. Yep. And um, I really like this. I think this is going to be a good option. It's nice to have another, some more competition here. And Titus right. hasn't really had this particular model for, for a while. Right. So. Right. Yeah, the, this is the TSR2, it's going to be for a golfer that's looking for a little more speed, a little more mm -hmm. distance mm -hmm. out of the fairway. Awesome, awesome. So guys, thanks for watching this video. <laughs> Which one of the three are you going to fit best into in 2022 or 2023? Thomas, thanks for taking all the swings today. Guys, smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, show Thomas some love, just how, how straight and how good he's hitting fairway woods. Really? A 13 degree over 300 yards? consistently, this guy's good. So come on in, see us at Second Swing. Any questions you have, drop it in the comments. What are you most excited about in the Titleist Fairway line in 2022? Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.